Welcome to another AppV5 tutorial session. Now we're going to take a look at installing and configuring AppV5 server. Uh, this demo shows you how to install and configure AppV5 server. Uh, we're going to install uh, AppV management publishing and reporting uh, databases. And we're also going to install the uh, AppV server. And then we're going to take a quick look, uh, a quick overview of uh, App V Management uh, Console. So, first off, we're going to go to the SQL Server. I've already copied the App V Server installation packages here uh, to the desktop, so I can uh, just click on Setup. Uh, as for session one, uh, uh, I've opened the database port on the firewall, and uh, I have also the SQL Server installed on the on the server. So, just connect to the SQL Server here. You can see there are no databases here. And we start the installation by clicking on the app v server setup. We will get this uh, uh, application installation box here and we can click on in install. We read the license agreement and accept the license, ter license terms and click on next. Use the Windows update and next. Here we're going to select the databases. Uh, we select the uh, management server DB and the reporting server DB. The installation installation location is just default here. Uh, we will use the default instance, and the server database. The name of the ser uh, database is just the. Uh, default it's the app v management the instance name is just basically as you can see this uh, it's just uh, let's see here what, what is it ah it doesn't matter just use the next here uh, we have to set the management server machine account. We're not going to use the local computer. We have the app v server, which we're going to use. So we type in the domain name. Appit.local, which is the uh, domain name. And the server name is app v SRV01. As so you can see here, app v SRV01. Let's go back. And then we need to type in the uh, administrator login, login, which has the uh, rights to create the database. Administrator. And for the reporting ser server database, uh, it's just the same, same instance, and the database name is default, which is app v reporting. And we're going to use the remote machine. It's just the app.local at vsrv01 administrator click on next and install this will take a few moments mm, some problem here Okay, the setup has completed successfully. If we check, uh, so I closed the SQL, SQL management control. 
just open it again. Now we have the databases, app B management and app B reporting installed. Okay. Now we will go to the app B server. And install the app server software. I've already copied the app files server installation. Run it as administrator. Uh, just before that wasn't in the in the app v uh, session one I uh, need to configure the IIS default uh, default website port to another so I can use the port 80 just going to go to the server so I have here IIS Sorry, I needed to go to the IS information management system here. And I will go to the sites default website bindings and change the port to something else. Finished. Now I can install the app v server five. Accept the license terms. I'm going to install the management server, the publishing server, and the reporting server. Default database. Sorry, default location. Uh, Use the remote SQL server, which is SQL SRV01. local default instance name and the default database name. Click on next. Same for the reporting server, SQL SRV01. local default default uh, server instance and default SQL and just click on next now we need to configure the uh, the group account that's authorized to manage app v server uh, and in uh, session one we created uh, a group called uh, app v admins we can go to the Active Directory server, and we can see that app admins is here, and the member is administrator. Okay, let's go back to the app server. The port binding is uh, port 80, which we uh, just prepared for in the, in the uh, IS and the firewall as in session one. Go next. Now we have to specify the management service to be used by the publishing server, which is the local host, or we can specify the name of the server. And I'm going to type in app srv01, and the port binding is 81. For the reporting service is 82. Click on next and install. This will take a few moments. So the setup has completed successfully and we can go to the management server console by clicking on this link. Uh, just gonna click close here. I know it's probably uh, come some access 
error here. It's probably because the administrator has not is not been locked off and locked down again after after adding to the group. So we will see. Oh, okay, okay. Um, so just a quick overview. Um, because we have currently uh, just finished installing the Happy server. So this is the main screen here. You can browse through the these uh, these boxes here. So it tells you some information about about the system. So a sequencer. This is the packages where you can uh, uh, add uh, sequenced applications. Uh, connection groups. Uh, this is basically if you have two uh, packages that needs to be connected to each other, such as some ad, uh, such as Outlook and some third-party application that uses Outlook. You can use connection groups so the third-party application can talk to Outlook. These are the servers, app servers. You can register a new server if you have another happy server, such as if you have another site. And here are the uh, uh, administrators if you want to delegate another group to, as an uh, administrator. So this is uh, basically it for the uh, uh, installing ap uh, 5 server. So. I'll be back with another session. Uh, thanks for watching.